All right, everybody, we're back. On the count three, it should be able to look up. One, two, three, sir. Three. Did it work? Oh, no. Ah, Dom Catherine. I can't believe how easily you were to fool. I put on a cutesy voice, I got and you ate the whole thing up. Shut up. Shut up. I don't need to be lectured by a murderer. I'm the murderer? Why, Mr. Fowler, it's your accusation to put Baron Rogro on death row. It wasn't my fault. Hey, where are you going? I don't know why, Severin. I'm not even talking to Dame Catherine. It wasn't my fault. Is that the excuse you make after all your failures? I'm not making excuses. Very after very after failure. No desire to impose yourself. You're a joke of a lawyer, JJ. Don't call me JJ. That's all you have to say? How pathetic. You don't even deserve to stand in your grandfather's shadow. My. My grandfather. I'll prove you wrong. I can do better. Well, it's you, Sparrison. Have you come to berate me, too? What? No. I need to tell you to wake up. Wake up, Monsieur. Wake up. Hey, can you hear me? I said wake up. Well, I got robbed. Oh, but now I'm going to be late for trial because I'm waking up by the river. Oh, come on, Monsieur. Wake up. I said wake up. You're starting to worry me. Well, thank goodness. I wasn't sure whether I would have to find a doctor or a mortician. Oh, look, my head. You sound like Sparrowson. Where am I? The Pont de Arts, you know, by the Louvre in Paris, France. I just fished you out of the scene. Nearly broke my rod doing it. Wait, I know you. You're that disrespectful lawyer guy. Giro Falcon or something. What time is it? Actually, what day is it? You hit your head pretty hard, huh? It's 21st of January around 9 o'clock. 21st. 9 o'clock? Oh, no, the trial. Well, you're running late, but take it easy. I'm sure that'll be understanding. Maybe if I sprint it. In your condition? That would be stupid. Take a seat. Clear your head. I'll go get some dry clothes. No time. Wait, monsieur. At least take this before you go. What is that? A stick? What is this? A dip pen? No way, it's a modern fountain pen. Bone handle. Gold nib. This is very fancy. Thanks, monsieur, but this isn't mine. Really? Are you sure? You were holding it pretty tightly when I found it. Alright, we have a fountain pen. Hey! Don't call me a fisherman! It's 9 o'clock. I believe it's time for roll call. Is the defense not present? Tis such unprofessionalism. If there's no defense, the trial cannot proceed any further. We must make a ruling based on the evidence that's already been presented. We shall decide whether he's guilty of murdering Major Hopkins by any thinking yard. I have a word. Fine, but make it quick. I'm a firm believer that a trial must be orderly and punctual. There's no room for wishy washy dilly dally. But it seems rash to end a trial the moment is due to start. Perhaps it would be prudent to wait five or ten minutes. You have nothing to worry about. A guilty verdict is all but guaranteed. Your Honor, you appear confused. I'm not here to secure a guilty verdict. Of course you are. You're a prosecutor. By definition, you're here to prosecute. No, my job description is to prosecute, but I'm here in the courtroom to ensure that justice is served. An unfair and unbalanced trial is not in the spirit of justice. That's very noble of you, but if the defense is absent and there's little I can do. I hear no more on this matter. I'm not talking to the jury. The, the defense is present. Your Honor. You're too late, Falcon. Mon Dieu, JJ. You look like a total mess. Did you take a morning swim in the scene or something? So, something like that. Your Honor, we are all present. We are only three minutes over schedule. It's not needlessly dirty, the pure name of justice. Rules are rules, Prosecutor. Falcon clearly has no respect for legal procedure. Frankly, for turning up while looking like a drowned rat out of whole limb in contempt of court, Your Honor. But, Your Honor, rules are rules. One more word out of either of you, and I shall have you both disbarred. It's a pity. The King of France was most looking forward to standing behind the witness podium. The, the King of France? He's here? Louis Philippe. Oh, we are not doing the trial after all. That's a pity. Uh, your Majesty, what surprise we, uh, well, you see. You know, it is my seventh time just fighting against a would-be assassin. But it was the first time seeing a trial where the case was ended before it even began. Well, the defense, uh, he was late now. Uh, oh, pish posh. France had become a great and dignified kingdom through vigorous punctuality. Let's go ahead with this trial. It'll be fun. Look, I'll say the other thing get us started. I started speaking without hatred, without fear, tell the whole truth, and nothing but truth. Did I get it right? That was perfect, Your Majesty. Jerry, 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 have no objections with the King testifying? No, no objections here. Go ahead with the trial. It's fine with me. Gah, fine. Proceed with this curse trial. I bet he bought the chocolate. You just your activities on the day of the murder? My activities? Well, I started my day with tea and toast as I normally do. I was just in my PJs at the time. I think you can skip ahead a little. Perhaps you arrive at the loo. Oh, this voice stuff wore me out. Well, of course, my hundred and ninety at six. We passed through the Salle du Tibre with a little fanfare. At the Grand Gallery, I unveiled a new painting, gave a short speech to inspire the citizens who attended. 
That was when I was approached by a man claiming to be the Prince of Spain. He presented a rose which was taken by Major Howell, and well, I think you know the rest. Indeed we do, Your Majesty. Madams and Messieurs of the Court, what we have here is another testimony that establishes his guilt. It is no ordinary testimony. It's the testimony of perhaps the most trustworthy man in all France. Oh, you flatter me, prosecutor. But I am the trustworthiest in all the kingdoms, aren't I? I have no doubts, Your Majesty. Nonetheless, I'd like to perform a cross-examination. How dare you doubt our king, the utter nerve. Oh, calm yourself, I have no qualms with standard legal procedure. Defense, please proceed. I want to see your best courtroom drama material. I don't know what I have here. That'd be fine. Oh, we could... We could quest... Okay. I guess that's it. The Prince of Spain, indeed. He formally introduced himself. I knew he was telling the truth because he called me Senor. We're going to go over the truth. Your Majesty, prosecutors, remember the court brace yourselves because I have a revelation that turns John on its head. Juan Cuerdo is not the Prince of Spain. That's not revelation, Falcon. It isn't? Of course not. We all know that the current ruler is Queen Regnant Isabel and that she has no children. Cuerdos are obviously pretending to be the throne. Prince Juan's title is probably self appointed. His name isn't even Juan. But his name isn't even Juan Cuerdo. I don't think the fox is Spanish. So what? So, so what? That's important. JJ, what's important is this man is accused of committing murder. That is what's in dispute here. The man's name is irrelevant. He could be named Juan Cuerdo or Bob. It doesn't change the events that transpired on the morning of January 6th. I suppose that's true. Um, no. Never mind. I have no more questions. Um, in the Grand Gallery, and the other painting. I don't know what else to question here. Because what happens do I have? I have the, the subway ticket and a pen with green ink. And some flowers. I almost have people to meet, too. I guess we'll say, now you're asking, I'd like to ask you about your activities in the Grand Gallery. Please proceed. May we hear your speech? Did you see anyone suspicious? Aside from the Prince of Spain, it's going to be the goose. Why, Monsieur, the Grand Gallery is always inhabited by artists. Everyone out there is out of the order. Nonetheless, can you think of anyone who stood out? I'm, I'm pretty much stabbed in that darkness, but I'm going to say it's a valid question. It's a perfectly fine question. Please answer, Your Majesty. Who did you see? Well, I don't know. I saw dozens of paintbrush shooting mustache tatted weirdos. Be specific, Your Majesty. I saw photographers and sculptors and sketchers and hipsters and... Just what do you want me to say, monsieur? Look what you've done, JJ. You've stressed the poor king out. Badgering the king took tut. Absolutely disgusting. I know, I lost a little favor. No. I got nothing. I shouldn't. I mean, that that doesn't matter. I don't think. Do I have that map? Can I look at that? No. I have no idea. I don't have a clue. I don't know what to say here. I think I'm fucked. If I go back to this, I'm gonna get in trouble with the jury. I guess we're gonna press on this. Okay, we know this. Uh, 
Ah, but that doesn't... Okay. I have nothing else to ask. <laughs> I guess the only other thing would be if they saw anyone suspicious here. I mean, I've really got nothing. What did I see? Romans have I mean, aside from that. You're right, I'm reaching. I'm out of statements to question. No one cares about his speech. I have no evidence. None of this helps me. I failed. I mean, I gotta push somewhere. His speech isn't gonna help me. That's dry. I mean, it's gotta be here. I don't care about the other room. I guess I'm gonna push it. I like, I need to lose. I want the game to elaborate. I have reason to believe that this was a key moment. All right, let me think. So there's a giant doorstep, there's a copper anthem. Oh, there was something else, nothing else. I was offered a box of chocolate. Thank you, Christ. I don't have a sweet tooth, but Major Howe was keen to accept a chocolate on my behalf. What? Hmm? Did I say something startling, prosecutor? No, no. please continue, Your Majesty. I think the prosecution started because he just came to the realization that I was not spotting drivel in the previous trial session. But that's debatable. To cut a long story short, you might see that mademoiselle may hold some relevance to the case at hand. Could you describe her? She was a goose. She's relevant? Well, let me think. I didn't give you a look at her face, but she was a sorry looking. Oh, yeah, swan. What was her name? Was. It's this one. Sign. That sounds familiar. Well, yes, it was. She was Mademoiselle Sign. I see this is undoubtedly significant. Mademoiselle Sign gave chocolates to Major Howe minutes before he died. Now, just one minute. I see you're alluding to, JJ. You're suggesting the gifted chocolates killed the Major. For that line of reasoning, holds no way because the evidence is circumstantial. Circumstantial might tell Father's the King to satisfy the Major how ate chocolate. Yes, that much is no longer disputed, but you still have not proved that the chocolates are poisoned. Without that, uh, well, we can't prove it now. Yes, yes. Shame on your defense. Implicating a poor innocent girl. I absolutely discussed my odd ends. Hold on. I do have evidence the chocolate was, in fact, poisoned. I don't believe you, JJ. If you had a piece of evidence that's significant, you would have slammed it down already. Present it. Well, I can't. It's not really any evidence folder type of evidence. Why am I not surprised? Oh, can I call? The drama was just getting good. Why'd you suddenly go quiet? Well, you might see the appears the defense has just had a realization of his own that is that he lacks the evidence to support his theory. Since he cannot contain his argument, I believe the cross examination is going to an end. Oh, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Let me present my evidence. See, I had the chocolate right around my office and spares and ate it. Stop, JJ. Stop while you still have a little dignity. The results of whatever crackpot experiment you performed do not constitute valid evidence. I think the trial is over, Your Honor. About by the time you may take your leave, Your Majesty. Very well. I am pleased that justice has been thoroughly served. Until the next assassination attempt, adieu, messieurs. I will now deliberate with the jury. Objection. Is it Sparrison or the Swan? Uh, it's Sparrison. Okay, sorry. I've always wanted to do that. Sparrison, are you okay? Yep, the doctor said I have an iron stomach. Most of the poison passed straight through me. Speaking of which, I'll like testify on that poison chocolate issue. Hey, you got a doctor's note, see? It's too late, the trial is over. You can't be serious, Your Honor. The contents of that note could turn this entire trial on its head. You must allow it. Why are you constantly arguing with me? I thought the job of a public prosecutor was to assist judges. I told you, Your Honor, my job isn't to get a guilty verdict, it is to ensure that justice is served. I swear you are the worst prosecutor in all of France. Go ahead, Sparrowson, read the contents of the note. Ahem. <laughs> the patient, Sparrowson, was admitted to Saint Pierre de Hospital, where he displayed a variety of symptoms. These include a profuse sweating, a rapid fever, and severe nausea. The patient was diagnosed with problem, or poisoning, probably originating from the plant known as aconite, aka monk's hood, aka wolf's bait. When we questioned the patient, he admitted to having consumed a discarded chocolate rabbit, potentially carrying the poison. We examined the contents of the patient's stomach confirmed this to be true. As a mental health professional, I believe the patient to be clinically... Oh, uh, we can skip that bit. Oh, uh, yada, yada, yada. Okay, here we go. Signed, Dr. Fowler. Thank you, Sparrison. I don't think I'll need to question you. Between your note... Oh, the music's going crazy. Uh, every angle of the chocolate is blah, blah, blah. Awesome. Wait, did you say the king's here? You can get his autograph later. Right. So what happens now? Do I get cross-examined? To be honest, I see little to cross-examine. Do your damn job, Prosecutor. cross examine a little annoying liar everywhere. Tears testimony shreds. Your Honor, here's a note signed by a medical professional, definitively proving that the chocolate wrapper was for the crime scene with poison. 
We could nitpick the details of David to the doctor's credentials, but I fear it would be a waste of the court's time. Nobody wants that. Gah! So then what the hell do we do now? We do nothing, Your Honor. The poison wrapper has introduced an element of doubt into the case. The prosecution must accept that. But the level of doubt is reasonable. Is it significant? I think the members of the jury will agree. J.J.'s evidence is tenuous. Tenuous? A step above circumstance. You have proven a link, not wholly a logical link, but you haven't proven beyond doubt that Major Howell was killed by the child, but you are still making far too many assumptions. Where's the empiricism that is required of a good court of law? Where are the witnesses who can back up your claim? Oh, I brought along a witness. Maybe she can. Thank God you got the swan. Uh, hello. You. What was I doing for her voice? I don't even remember. I think they were like all Southern Bell. Maybe she was a redneck woman. I don't know. Sparison, it's great to see you on your feet, and you've been a nervous asset of this case, but why are you trying to pull off now? Surprise witness. Surprise witness? Yeah, I remember you mentioned that Coco Rico had called surprise witnesses, so I thought we'd beat him at his own game. I brought the flower girl, Mademoiselle Sigma, so she can testify about the character. You're putting me in a difficult position, Sparison. Just knows where you arrived, we court established that Mademoiselle Sigma is possible suspect in this case. What? That can't be right. Sparison, it's okay. Mr. Falcon, I would like to testify. You want to testify? Do you understand what you're agreeing to? I do. I've accepted my fate. Prosecutor, do you have any objections to me calling upon her as a witness? No, none. Bearing in mind, of course, you were here to defend Prince Juan and not convict her. Prosecuting is my job. Of course. I have no objections either. Please proceed, witness, because this is his patsy. The oath. Say that you swear to speak without hatred without fear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I swear, Your Honor. I swear to speak without hatred without fear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Good. Very good. Please state your name and occupation. Catherine, whatever. She's a flower side. So the curve of your activities in the morning. Very well. I saw the king and his entourage. I followed. When they came to a stop, I stepped forward and offered the king a chocolate. He refused. But a guard, a big dog, was happy to oblige. The guard died because I had previously added poison to the chocolates. No, that can't be right. I used poison derived from monkshood, a notoriously dangerous plant. As a flower cell, it was simple to acquire. Why did you do it, mademoiselle? Why? Monsieur, people have tried to kill the king before, and people try again. He's a vile man who has no respect. It's a, why did you do it, that I'm going to question. I did it better. I did it better than French people. I don't believe that at all. Falcon, say something. Mademoiselle, you've been coerced to threaten speak freely. No, monsieur. I'm confessing on my own volition. It's my guilt and nobody else's. Okay, that's what we're going to question. Intriguing. Pretty convincing. You gained a little favor with the jury. Well, defense, it looks like you warmed a confession on this murderous pute. I suppose that gets your client completely off the hook. Lucky you. So shall I wrap this question up? Uh, no. No, not yet. I have further questions. Further questions? To what end? You've already proved your client's innocence. I wish you uncovered the truth. You aren't here to uncover the truth. You're here to defend Prince Juan. You've done that job with discussing all the diligence. Nonetheless, I believe the mademoiselle has admitted a huge thing of importance. I wish you question that further. Something of huge importance. I won't allow it. Fine. Can I at least show something to the witness? You and the prosecutor are a right pair of moralizing blowhards, aren't you? You are doing my head in. Fine. If it'll shut you up, I'll let you show one magical mystery under the witness. I can't imagine I'm ending up your sleeping tent before the trial, though. Mr. Falcon said, but I have nothing more to say. Uh, what if I showed you these ticket stubs? Please take a look at these, mademoiselle. I knew that'd be important. I knew it. Train ticket stubs. Look at the names. Papa and Mama. Mama. In Vienna? Really? Are they really safe? They are. The tickets were arranged courtesy of the fox. Then. That means the wolf has nothing to hold over me. I can speak freely. Indeed. Go ahead, mademoiselle. What are you two muttering about down there? I'm admitting my testimony, Your Honor. Members of the court, everything I've said today has been the truth. I did go to the Louvre. I did present a box of poison chocolates to the king. Except it was not my volition. I was threatened. I was forced to carry out the task under threat of harm. You see, my family's been struggling to get by. The winter has been harsh, and the flower business has been struggling. One day, a man approached me, a man I seem to be kind-hearted. This man offered me 200 francs to get us through the cold, but I could not afford to repay the debt. When I attempted to bargain with the man, he offered me a deal, a system with murder, and he would drop me, or he would drop all debts. Refusing, he would ruin me and my parents. I obliged because the alternative meant death for those I love. The only one who did this was Romulus. Is Judge Romulus? Yes. Ha! What a creative story. This is obviously a last minute desperate attempt at passing the buck. The sheer laziness of this girl to accuse a man she's never met before. She's blatantly floundering. Indeed, I've heard dozens of these self pitying yarns in my time. Although, admittedly, this is the first time I've seen a witness directly accuse a judge. Quite a brazen gambit. But these sort of stories never turn out to be always proven. Okay, I've never been more honest, monsieur. Listen, mademoiselle, I would like to believe your story, but accusing a man, a judge, of conspiring to murder a king is serious. Do you have any proof? Proof? You say the judge lent you money, then you both must have signed a contract. That contract would suffice as proof. The contracts were all verbal. He 
He said the money was a gift at first. Only later he said, hey, how convenient. Of course, there's a supposed contract that doesn't exist. The mademoiselle has no proof because her story is a blatant lie. Talking, you have to do something. Do you have anything to link the judge? A link? Of course. Members of the court, I know for certain that it's true. I can say with certainty that you've been contact with me in the past. I'm only a key piece of evidence that links them directly to the crime. I am. Uh. I mean, is it the pen? I don't know what else it would be. It, I don't feel like it would be the rose. Or these. I'm gonna go with the pen. I know this pen belongs to Judge Ramos. That much is obvious. But if I were to present it right now, I wouldn't prove anything. I have to find a link to the judge in the crime scene. Oh, okay. So it's... What? Is it the rose because they don't grow in the winter? I mean, I have wolfsbane. But that doesn't help me. I have no idea why else it would be. That doesn't help me. Is it the wolf spade we bought? We're gonna take a look at this. This item ties it directly to the ground. You're going to have to elaborate. How does it do that? Oh, I'm not sure. Heh, useless. Yeah, I don't I don't know what else it would be. You lost a little favor. I, have, I know I have something that proves that you have a hand in the crime. What? The rose? That's the only other... If I... I knew I should have gone and asked about the wrapper. Because I bet he bought the chocolate. Okay, it wouldn't be the pen. I don't know why it would be daisies. I don't know why it would be the rose. I don't think it would be any of this stuff. Check my... I can't even check my Facebook right now. Shit. No, that doesn't. I install because I don't have anything. I'm gonna have to just keep doing this. I don't have it because Don Quixote is not gonna do it. The business card is not gonna do it. <laughs> Whatever, maybe it's a daisy. Now, yeah, I'm gonna lose. I have nothing. Yeah, I know I don't. Let this go. Damn. No, I... No, I don't have anything. How the hell is that for this? My parents said that's all I wanted. Your parents? What about you? We find the defendant to be cleared of all charges. We therefore find the defendant not guilty. But he's not going to be happy because the duck's in prison, unless that's the next thing. Your Honor, what will happen to me? You? Well, you haven't been formally tried yet, but fortunately for you, we have a free trial slot this afternoon. We should be able to determine your guilt by nightfall. Great. Nobody here likes gallows humor or whatever. Court is adjourned. Well, I think this is goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Falcon, Mr. Spurson. You did your best. Well, if they hadn't stolen a day from me... I know it's not. No, me neither. We mustn't blame ourselves. You made an admirable effort. Yep. My, I don't know. I heard you because I thought you were a lawyer of philosophy, and I stand by that. You're a male strong deal. The Falcon name is reputable. I didn't know that. He's not talking about. Never mind. I don't deserve this. Keep it. I dragged you into this. It's only fair. Ah, uh, hell. Yeah. You're going to be in charge of prosecuting her? Probably. Why? Do you think you can get her a reduced sentence for attempting to murder the king? I empathize. I'm not a miracle worker. No lawyer can save the flag girl now. Well, if they hadn't stolen a day from me, I would have done it. Instead, I get a worthless fucking pen that I can't do anything with. Ah, uh, no. I do not wish to continue. Attempted. When you click this, what happens?
How much time do I have? I'm at 25. So maybe, I think 19th was the day I wasted. So instead of wasting it going to the palace, I'm gonna go to the Chocolate Emporium. Okay, I wanna ask about the judge. Yes, wait, yes, okay. Okay. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, that is what it was. That's where I messed up. Green ink. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay, and now we're gonna... I don't know if there's a way to fast forward everything, but we can also do this much quicker. I won't mess up the trial. So, office. Kind of like space. Is there a way to just click quickly, I guess? Uh, can you enter? Is there any way you can go faster? No, I have to click. Okay, click and... Um, oh, this is the fastest I can go. I will pay for the bill. I'm aware. Okay. We've got him by the balls now, and the trial will be quick. I have the... Okay. Come on. Stab me. Come on. Hurry up. Can't take my... Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then he's dick. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, next day. See, I would have got it if they didn't secretly steal a day from me. That's not my fault. I had it. It's trash. I was trying to find the swan. I didn't know that the game was just going to give her to me. It's not my fault. Okay, we did that. And the king's gonna be here. You guys need to see me click super loud. Because you can't hit space. Ugh, this is gonna take forever. It's gonna be a long episode, kids. Okay, we're here. We're this will be faster though. Da -da 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 -da. Is there no way to like do space enter? Text speed. There we go. You proceed. We're gonna get the good ending, goddammit. We're sort of questioning this. Uh, and then I wanted to elaborate. Okay, we did all this. That one. I don't know, he just said, uh, um, say like that. Okay. Objection. Yep, long episode. Yep, 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 Okay, bring in the duck. Bring in the duck. Okay. And we're back to uh, options. Do like a little bit faster. Hello, you. Spare us. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, we know all this. Oh. Oh, I Come on, house, work with me. I'd be a little quieter if I lifted off the. Uh... We will save this duck. Okay. No. 
chat up. Okay, so the tickets. Your mama and your papa are safe. Okay, 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 we know this, we know this, we know this. And then we're gonna get to the real part. You have Judge Romulus and like, haha, -ha, so lazy. I do have a link. I have the chocolate receipt. Did you have a look at this? Hmm, me? You don't trust it in the judge's hands? What? What is that? What does that piece of paper say? It's a receipt for a box of chocolates from Lander Hagelslack's Chocolate Emporium on the 6th of January, made out to, to a man named Romulus. The writing upon the receipt is clear. A man named Romulus bought chocolates on the day before the murder. These chocolates happen to have been the same brand and flavor as the ones used in the assassination. If by itself, the evidence would not be definitive. It would only just the judge as a sweet tooth. But taking with the everyday testimony, that implies the judge was involved. Judge Romulus, what do you have to say about this? Yep. That receipt's not mine. I haven't set foot in chocolate shop in years. You cannot be serious. The receipt is indisputable proof of your purchase. Indisputable. Watch me dispute it. What you have there is a scrap of paper with word Romulus on it. Is it a forgery? Or are they some of the two men named Romulus? I don't have a clue. But what I do know is you have nothing proof that I was the one. This is absurd. I have your pen. Yeah, that would be correct. Well, it's no matter. I don't need the judge. I already have my position proof. I have a pen. But first things first, I believe you dropped your pen, you are, hmm? Oh yeah, that's mine. I've been looking for it everywhere. I thought as much. Madame Le Mesures, last night I was assaulted outside the hospital. I did not see their face, but I did accidentally grab something and as, as I was thrown in. So that's why you smelled like fish. I wanted to say something, but I thought it might be rude. The fountain pen is the very item I grabbed. Did did you say the pen was mine? On closer inspection, I see I must have been mistaken. Save it, Your Honor, I'm not here to press assault charges. What interests me most about this pen is the ink it contains. It is emerald green in color. And as we know, only baddies are in green. Well, yes, but more importantly, it's a rare and unusual choice of ink color. I would venture that only a dozen people in all of Paris are arrogant enough to write in green. And I would venture that only one of those arrogant people is named Romulus. So you lack respect for classic penmanship. What of it? The receipt's in green. But they're more green ink. Certainly it's quite a coincidence. No, there's no more room for coincidence. There's no more doubt. There's only one narrative that can tie this ridiculous string of evidence. You bought a box of chocolates with custom filling. The custom filling contained poison originating from the flowers of Mademoiselle Science. So that was a waste of ten bucks. On the 7th of January, you, Judge Rhinos, leveraged that debt to force the girl to present the poison chocolates to the king. Then an idiot of a man by the name of Juan framed himself as the murderer in order to take the fall. You pushed for his guilt by priming a witness, and when that failed, you pressured her to take the full responsibility. There's the only error that makes sense. Of it. Fine, I do that. I did it. I purchased the chocolates. I added the poison. I put the peasant girl in debt just so I could force her to take the fall. I was the one who the king murdered. There's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm the one who holds the gavel. I'm the one who passes the census. With a snap of my fingers, I could have each and every one of you guillotined tonight. Who judges the judges? Who stands over me? Nobody. Not even God can condemn me when I sit so highly. Attempting to murder a king, corrupting the court, just saw what an utterly repulsive individual. Don't touch me, you dirty pig. You have no authority over me. He doesn't. I do. Take him away, Inspector. I'm not done. I'm not done with any of you. You're all guilty. You'll see. Revolution is coming. The rebels will overrun Paris. The king and government will fall. The bourgeois will be slaughtered. We shall have a glorious second republic. A republic free of class where everyone is free and equal. Communism. Hey, don't touch me. It's another ranting lunatic, your majesty. Ignore him. Of course. Carry on, inspector. There we go. The good ending. What? What happens now? Uh... I, I guess I'm supposed to take over the president and judge's duties. We have given the series of revelations that just to place, we believe the results are clear. Uh, clear of all charges, not guilty. Okay, we've got a good not guilty. Yeah. What? What happens to me now? Mademoiselle, it's clear that you were coerced. However, you still play a significant role in the attempt. You must be tried for your crimes. I see. I cannot argue. But as it happens, due process was not followed during this trial session. Judge Ryan was thoroughly disturbed with the proceedings. Consequently, I believe the most testimony was given during this trial session would not be seen as valid. What does that mean? He's saying you're free to go. Correct. As prosecutor, I see no crime to prosecute. Really? Thank you so much, monsieur. And thank you, monsieur. Without your help, monsieur, I don't know where I'd be right now. So, are my parents really in Vienna? I think so, but you would have to ask the Fox for details. I don't know exactly what he arranged. Although, now that Judge Ryan was posed no threat, I suppose your parents would be free to move back to Paris. Actually, I may follow them to Vienna. You mean a holiday after all this drama? Well, yes, but I also want to get away from here before, you know, before the fighting starts. You mean the revolution he mentioned? He doesn't seem mentally stable. Pay him no mind. 
It's not just him in the streets. Everyone talks of an uprising. If you were smart, you'd clear out of here, too. Thank you for the concern, mademoiselle. But we're far from smart, so we're staying put. I see the good luck, messieurs, and farewell. Perhaps we can meet again when this is all blown over. Wait, mademoiselle, don't you want to have a quick celebratory drink? Oh, she's gone. So I guess it's just you and me and the fox, right, Falcon? That sounds good, Sparris, and take Prince Juan back to the aviary office. I need to sort some paperwork with Severin. Okie dokie. Suppose congratulations on order. Covering the truth in the way you did, it was quite a feat. Everything went far better than I could have hoped, but you were surprised. But you surprised me at the end with that little lie of yours. Lie? This trial's testimonies are completely invalid? Bullcock. You and I both know the trial's produced ample valid evidence for Mademoiselle Sighing to be detained and tried. Even with the coercion accounted for, I bet she would still be found guilty of conspiracy or accessory to murder. So why are you holding back? Hmm. No, ten, maybe in five years ago, I would have probably prosecuted her. When I was fresh out of law school, I thought my role as prosecutor was to condemn every potential criminal that came my way. I thought I had the guilty presence of behind bars when I hanged off and justice has been served. But as I gained experience, I started noticing the details. Details? The extenuating circumstances, the personal considerations, the gap in the law, where even when due process is followed to the ledger, good people are punished and wrongdoers are obviously going to help us out. I hate instead of trying to secure a guilty verdict, just to ensure justice is served. But that would not serve justice. You're a good lawyer. You're a good lawyer, Coco Rico. You, well, you're not terrible, Falcon. I must congratulate you, Senior Falcon, and seeing this person. Hey, what am I doing? Using that old accent. Of course, we congratulate this, Monsieurs. We're just doing our job. What are we at, like 40 minutes? Not only that, your job and when you prove my innocence. Everything after it goes above me. Of course, I was counting you to do so. Lesser lawyer would have surely stumbled or caved in. But if I ever get your payment, I wonder how much we got. 79? I don't know if he paid us less than we did worse. Mr. Fellows, where you go? Something's been bothering me. Why did you come out in the first place? Surely there must have been. Oh, more reputable than the Falcon that stands before me? Uh, yeah, Falcon's got a sucky trekker. True, he does have a mixed record, but his family's name is hugely respected in the lawyering world. Let's not go down this road, Monsieur Phelps. I don't go by my old name for a reason. That is fair. We should be fixated on the past, should we? After all, it's already been and gone. The future's where our That's what we should be paying attention to. A storm is approaching fast. You mean the revolution? Indeed, he's right. A revolution's coming. You'll probably have a search of work over the coming days. If you want me to dig up the journal, please feel free to drop by my office. Dig up the dirt. I'm a private investigator. It's what I do. Well, bear it in mind. Thank you. Good days, messieurs. I'm going to get a drink. Seriously, Falcon? What? I was just going to ask if you want a tea or coffee. Okay. The good ending. Um, no, I don't wish to continue. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. Two court cases done. Uh, I feel a little cheesed that I would have had it if they didn't secretly steal a day from me. I don't know how I was supposed to plan for that. I did waste a day at the, uh, what's it called, the, the museum, but I don't know. The, I guess it was like I had like a 90% or 95%. I had to cross that boundary and think harder, but I thought I had another day, so I didn't think it was that big a deal. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Aviary Attorney and Book of Hawk, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Have a good day again, because I'm tired now. Bye-bye.